Hey everyone and welcome back to another review. So today it's, I'm quite excited because uh, this is going to be pretty cool. So this is what I will be unboxing and reviewing for you guys. It's the Blue Yeti X Black Edition. So this is the packaging it came in. Really cool. Looks really awesome. It quite, feels quite heavy and from uh, the reviews I've seen online uh, it is uh, really well built. So let's uh, open this up and have a look inside and then what I will do is um, I will have another section of the video later which will then cover the usage of the microphone. So let's get this out of the box and see what's inside. Move that over there. Now I'm sure you can hear sort of a humming sound in the background. Now that's my current PC fans that are running. Um, so what I want to do is when I review the microphone I'll be using the microphone sound overlaying on the video so we can see the difference later on because obviously I'm using the phone speaker now. So that comes in the box. Talks about the headphone level, microphone level, the blending that it comes with, metering, the mute, and the four different patterns that uh, the microphone can handle. You can do interviews where it will pick up a person on either side, or mainly used for this one here, which is uh, when you're playing games or, or streaming and that, or voice calls. Then you've got Omni, which is everywhere. And then you've got this one, which is like a stereo, where it will pick up sounds all around. There's a microphone jack, and then just how you should have the microphone standing because this the, the way the voice comes in must be right against the side not from the top of the microphone and that's the way this one works it also integrates with the logitech g hub which is pretty cool so you can also integrate the lighting and that with your keyboard and mouse so i have a logitech mouse keyboard and headphones so all of that can work together which would be quite cool then uh, some safety documentation nice sponge and there it is wow looks really cool so let's get this out oh that's that's really heavy <laughs> that uh, feels very solid have a look at that really nice unit wow this is uh, very nice see the stand with the swivel and then that comes up like so and then you would talk into it from this angle here or if you have someone sitting this side it would pick it up from that side there and there's the single knob that's used now for all the settings and lighting and then on the back it will change the patterns with that button there for the four settings of the microphone that's used so that's the microphone there which is pretty cool so yeah so it comes with the uh, four custom capsule condenser array for clarity it's got the high res led array here's the usb plug now this is something i wanted to look at because obviously i use my phone for video um, and i wanted to see because apparently you can use the microphone as a microphone for a cell phone now, because I've got an Android phone, I'm sure you can do the same with Apple. But if you get one of these connectors, this is a USB-C connector to a USB plug. So this would then plug into here, like so. And then that would plug into my phone. And this end would go into the microphone. And I would be using the microphone as the phone's microphone. So that's something I wanted to really test out and see. So that's how that works there. So there's the cable. See if there's anything else in the box. And just some of that, which is, and that's everything out of the box. So overall view of it looks really cool. It's got the multifunction knob, like I said over here, which does the headphone volume, the microphone gain, the blend and the mute. It also has blue voice, 
which uh, the other microphones don't come with. It has vocal effects which are included for streaming or podcasts. Um, it also has the customized lighting, which would be here, which comes around. And uh, yeah, so the four patterns which are controlled by this button here are the cardioid, the omni, bi-directional and stereo. So those are them there. And uh, yeah, it's approved by Discord as well, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I'll get this set up and then uh, I will do some voiceovers on uh, some video as well. Uh, I'll be doing some screenshots of the settings and everything so you can have a look at that. And uh, yeah, from the initial review, it looks pretty impressive. Now, another thing which I also wanted to show was uh, I looked at getting sort of uh, the covers, microphone covers. Now, I got these two, which are for, they're called windscreens. And basically they block out unnecessary sound from wind and that. So you get that loud like woof, woof sound and when there's wind. So this is more of a fluffy one, which I've got, which would then obviously just fit over the top of the mic like so. It's got an elastic, so that would go over like that. And it would help keep the sound out from from the wind. Here's the smaller one, which is uh, more for voice uh, when talking, just to block the up close breath from the mouth. You know, when you're really up close to a microphone, and you get that. So those would be cool to test out as well, and see what they do. So. Yeah, be sure to stick around and I will have the voice from the Blue Yeti X in the next part of the video. Okay, so here we have the microphone set up on my desk. So I wanted to have it, sorry for all the cabling and everything, but I wanted to set it up so you can see what it looks like with the size and, and how it all fits in with things. Now, to get a size perspective, this is roughly the size of a tennis ball. So... That's how big the mic is there in relation to a tennis ball, roughly. This is a coffee mug. As you can see, it's it's quite a it's quite a big microphone, very solid, um, nice and heavy. There's a ruler, 30 centimeter ruler, so you can see it's roughly 27 and a half, 28 centimeters high. So that's there just with regards to the sizing and how it would fit on a desk and everything. Um, I'll turn it, you'll probably hear some feedback coming through the microphone as I'm turning it. It is quite sensitive so it does pick up the banging and everything on the, on the table. Now with regards to the sound uh, or the pattern that I'm in now, I'm in uh, cardioid. So if I move closer to the microphone, you should hear my voice getting clearer and louder and picking up all the mouth movements from that. So that's there. Now, talking from the microphone, I'm roughly that far away. And you should hear me. Now, as I move to the left, you should hear my voice being a little less. And then I'll move over to the right, getting clearer to the middle. Now I'm at the right and that sound should not be coming through so that is more suited for podcasting game streaming uh, skype calls uh, vocal instruments uh, so yeah so it captures the sound sources directly in front of the microphone which is where, where i am now and it should deliver a nice rich uh, full-bodied sound so that's the cardioid mode now i will change to the uh, let's see what the next mode is this is, it looks like an infinity sign, so it's bi-directional. So basically, if someone's in front of the microphone and someone's behind the microphone, that's where the sound will be picked up. From the sides, it shouldn't pick up anything. So if you're interviewing someone, that will work quite well for them. So this is ideal for streaming interviews between two people. So I will talk again closer to the microphone. I will move away. I'll move to the left. I'll move to the side, as you can see. You might hear my chair creaking, so that's there, and I will click. So 
we should hear the sound move around like that being louder in the front and louder at the back now also one thing when you are talking into the mic it's this piece here that picks up the sound so try and place your mouth sort of straight in line with it and the closer the better then that would obviously pick up the sound don't position the microphone like that because I'm sure you can hear now it doesn't pick it up as clearly as if I was talking into it like that so this is how these microphones work so don't point them like a singing microphone into the mouth then the next mode we'll move on to is the stereo mode so stereo mode will pick up sounds from the sides as well and a little bit from the back so this thing now will play the sound if I move to the left and you've got stereo enabled you should hear me on the left and then as I move to the right you should hear me moving to the right of the speakers that you're listening on so we'll click again going to the left going to the right and I'm in front of it so that's the stereo mode which uses both left and right channels and that's ideal for capturing realistic sound and uh, when you have multiple sound sources in front of the microphone and then the final pattern is the Omni so this will basically pick up sound all the way around the microphone and it should be an equal distribution of the sound so this would be more for capturing the ambience like you, you're there at a concert for example or say a conference call this could be in the middle of the table and it should pick up everybody that's talking so we'll do a click test and you should hear the sound evenly all the way around so hopefully that clears up the patterns then uh, what we have is on the front of the microphone we've got the button so I'll leave it on Omni so it should pick me up from the side so that's your gain that's being picked up from the microphone when you press the button that goes green and then you can increase the gain by turning the knob like so and if you press the button hold it down for a little bit it will change to the next setting which will show the microphone or the earphones and that you can also turn up and down and that's when you can plug the earphone in over here so you can do that and there's also this the mounting for a arm so the next setting is the microphone and the earphone so you can change the balance more towards the mic all the earphones when you're listening and then you press it again and you go back to the original and if you press it once again it will go to mute and then the light will go red and then what I'll be showing you now is let me go back to cardioid so I'm back in front of the mic it should be nice and clear so what I'll show you now is the software that you can use with the blue Yeti microphone yeah that's the G hub from Logitech so that automatically picks it up so that will be the next part of the video so you can see how the lights can change you can actually control the patterns on the back using the software as well okay so we're back with the software that uh, you can use with the Blue Yeti now I've got uh, the Logitech G hub as you can see here all the devices being picked up and the Yeti gets picked up over here so basically if you click on that it will then come up with all the settings and that now one thing is if you don't have the G hub you can go to their website and download software and it's called the uh, the software is called Sherpa so that you can do from their website near the technical specifications and that will give you the same uh, options except with uh, the G hub it gives you a lot more uh, sort of uh, settings and that to play around with so if you look here on the left you've got your four patterns which we can play around with so we're on cardioid now so that's with me coming closer to the mic moving away from the mic moving closer staying close and moving to the left and then coming across as I go to the right of the microphone that's the cardioid option then moving on Omni so Omni will be all the way around I will click my fingers as I did in the previous video so that should pick the sound up all the way around the microphone uh, the next one is stereo so that should pick up a lot of the sound sources in the front of the mic 
and more to the left and the right. So you should hear my fingers on the right hand side, now in the middle, and now on the left. So that should be playing there, and then going to the back and across. So that's there. Then the last one is the directional. So that's for the interviews or the streaming, where the sound would be in the front or right at the back. So my hand's now at the back clicking. I'm in the front talking, and now I'm clicking on the side, and I'm talking on the side. So that's those are the settings there. So we'll go back to Dioid, and that's the sounds. Then what you can have here is it also comes with Blue Voice, this microphone, which is quite nice. Uh, so everything is, uh, they've got some presets here for you that you can use. You can do the FM station, uh, radio sound so hopefully my voice sounds more like a, D a disc jockey at a radio now uh, we've got some classic radio voices am radio crisp and modern so that's the crisp and modern sound we've got warm and vintage so these are all the different sounds you can play with and you can also create your own as well so that's all the settings over here that you can play around with there's a lot here the default sounds are pretty good on their own uh, even without the, the blue voice, the, the microphone settings I've left as that. And you can see as I change the knob on the microphone, the gain is being changed over here. And that's me turning the knob. And you can also control it from the software by doing that. The next thing is lighting. So the lighting of the microphone, as you can see here, you've got your on, which is green. And then when it's muted, it will turn orange. You can also have a fixed light which would stay green, uh, not orange, red, sorry, and it will stay green or red. And you can also change this to breathing where it will pulsate like so. So you can see that the microphone is on or off so that you can do and change the speed of that pulsing. You've got different modes which I showed you earlier in the front. So these also the lighting can be changed. You can also change the pulsating again, the metering. Now that's the, the loudness that it goes up, so you can change those colors as well from here, which is quite cool. And then your four patterns, so I've changed mine already. So you can see the stereo would be green, the Omni is blue, the cardioid's red, which is selected currently, and the bi-directional is purple. Again, you can set that breathing pulsating sound, which is pretty cool. And then moving on to the output. 3.5 millimeter jack so that's all here you've got even more settings you can play around with uh, you've got some presets as well so if you guys need to fiddle around with some of the sound settings that's all here so there's a lot of options and you can also save a uh, profile configuration so if you have something set for gaming you can put that on like Fortnite or uh, what else is there Apex Legends uh, Call of Duty so that's also up there so we're back at the main screen of the G Hub um, I hope this uh, unboxing and review was useful to you guys. If you like the review, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see some more reviews, please subscribe to the channel because I will be reviewing the Blue Yeti uh, arm that it can be suspended from as well as the sound dampener. So that will be coming up at some point. And uh, I will also look at the windscreens that I put on top of the uh, microphone to block out sound and uh, at some point I'll also look at the pop filters and see how those do but overall I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this microphone it's really it's really well made and um, yeah it was uh, it was fun doing this uh, review and I hope to see you guys again cheers <laughs>